On this pair of pants, let's add a pleated ruffle instead. We add the pleated ruffle along the leg dart and the internal line. First, we need to implement this dart. And we need to check the total measurement of the dart leg and the internal line. It is about 30 centimeters. To create the ruffle, we add a rectangle that is 2 centimeters by 30 centimeters. We want to add six box pleats that are 2.5 centimeters in width each. So we change the height of the rectangle to accommodate the pleats. That makes the height 65 centimeters. Next, we clone by offset the top edge by 5 centimeters and input 12 copies. We add pleats on the internal lines that are 2.5 centimeters in width. We continue to add the pleats along the edge. We make sure that we add the pleat along the same edge. We need to ensure that the pleats are in the correct fold direction. We want to ensure that a pair of pleats are folded in this manner. The top pleat should be folded upwards, and the bottom pleat should be folded downwards. We correct the fold direction of the rest of the pleats. This is only one side of the pleat. We want to clone it and flip it along the y-axis and again along the x-axis. We ensure that the pleat's fold direction are all correct. Next, we create symmetry for the other side of the pants. We stitch the two pieces together. We stitch only one side to the pant. These patterns need to be in a 3D layer higher than the pants patterns. We can change the layer to a 4. We must ensure that the patterns are added in the arrange mode. We add them into the skirt cluster so that the patterns will be prepared flat on the front of the pants. Use the 3D gizmo to adjust the pattern and scale it accordingly. Once that is all set, we click Dress. We may require to adjust the pleat simulation using the styling tool. We can adjust the styling and the grid size as required. And this is the results of the pleated ruffles.